Hey baddies, it's your girl Shama and I'm back with another video. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you could be a baddie too. Obviously, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a quick little perfume haul um, slash Billie Eilish review. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. You got me, you got me, got, got me, got me twisted. You got me, you got me, got, got me, got me twisted. Okay. All right, so let's get one thing straight. I'm not really too much of a perfume person. Um, and I say that because to me, perfume stank. It smell like old ladies and dead flowers or old dead ladies with flowers. And I just can't ever really get into it and get behind it. Um, I'm 26. So I have kind of decided that like it's time for me to grow up and kind of try and get into it. I'm really a body spray person. I like Victoria's Secret body sprays. I have like this coconut pineapple one. Um obviously love addict um amber romance is a like a staple um i just like body sprays i just like going all over the place and calling it good because the one thing about body spray is even when you spray a lot it airs out very quickly so it doesn't smell too strong versus perfume people be spraying too much it'd be loud and it'd be smelling nasty and loud and it just i I hate when people put on too much perfume and it stank and I just be like, why you have to put on that much? You like the smell of it, but I don't, it stinks. So like, anyway, I digress. Um, I have been trying to venture into some perfumes. Um, so I did kind of take notes of what I do and don't like. I don't like anything floral. I don't like anything that smells like baby powder. Uh, Chanel number no. fives. I don't know why y'all are hyped up behind it. It smells like baby powder and I'm a full size grown adult. I don't want to smell like a baby, okay? um and i i kind of like citrus stuff but not all citruses sit well with me um i prefer things that are fruity things that smell sweet i also like natural and kind of earthy scents um so let's go ahead and get into it so i can see you guys right now um two perfumes that i tried that i did not like were the kate spade perfumes um let me look them up really quick and see what the scents were behind them and I didn't like the Burberry for her neither. The Burberry for her smelled like the flea market. And the Kate Spade, I went to Ulta to smell samples of it because Maddie Ziegler was promoting it. So I'm like, oh, maybe it's like a youthful, fruity, sweet type of smell. It smelled like dead flowers. Um, so I didn't end up getting those. I couldn't do the Kate Spade, couldn't do the Burberry for her. But let me just go ahead and look. This is what it looks like, whatever. So the scents are black currant cosmopolitan, pink peppercorn, purple peony, hawthorn, vanilla creme brulee, and cedarwood. Sounds like a lot of it is. It's in the floral uh, scent family, which is why I don't like it. Um, let's see the pink one. I think the pink one was floral too, because I was like, Ugh. I had to, because I had sprayed it on my wrist and kind of walked around the store. I had to like almost bathe it off because I just couldn't do it. Okay, here's the pink one. This is the full size bottle. And going down into the details, it's floral. It says, uh, it actually says fruity floral. So there is a little bit of strawberry in it. That's one of the top notes, but the rest of it is all floral, which is why I didn't like it. Getting into the perfumes that I, oh, let me try do the Burberry for her because I forgot to look that one up. That one, I could not get behind at all. That one was like, ugh. Everybody's like, it smells so good. And I was like, Bleh. no, it don't. Okay, let's see what it is. Wow, it's under fruity. That's interesting. Okay, so the top notes say red and dark berries. Middle say floral with the scent of jasmine. The base says sensual musk amber. It must be the musk amber that made it smell like the flea market. I couldn't do it. Uh-uh, that Burberry for her stank. <laughs> but that's just my humble opinion. Okay, so the perfumes that I do own, is not many, just three. <laughs> um, The first, and they cheap. <laughs> I can't justify spending 60, 70, $100 on a bottle of perfume. I just can't do it. So the first one that I own is this Pacifica Dream Moon. This is what it looks like in the 
excuse me. The scents are patchouli, sandalwood, pink rose. Um, so obviously the pink rose does make it a little bit floral, but it's the sandalwood. The earthiness of that is what is what does it for me. I like sandalwood and I have um, a lot of warm beechwood candles. Like those type of scents really do something for me. So I love this. She is vegan friendly. Um, cruelty free. And I want to say it was like $30 for one fluid out. So mm. this one I tend to wear at night because it does have like an earthy kind of like evening tone to it. I don't, I'm not a professional perfume scent person but it's it's got a little bit of weight to it when you smell it so it's definitely not like a daytime brunch type of perfume it's more like evening date um type outings um the next perfume that i purchased is this good chemistry sugar berry and it's their signature scent so i did buy the little roller bottle i actually prefer the roller bottles because i could put these in my purse pull them out real quick and just like especially if I forget to put on perfume while I'm at home um and so actually what I did with this one it looks almost empty because I bought some roller bottles off of Amazon and I poured this in there and I put it in my purse so I don't have to worry about it um let me pull up the information for this one because it's on my phone this one I also bought out of Target $30 um I don't know because this is the the little roller bottle and it's only 0.25 fluid ounces so i hope i didn't pay 30 dollars for this <laughs> but um the scents are mm -mm -mm, freesia raspberry and vanilla which fruity sweet um so this to me it smells like cotton candy or something i love this one I could just like, mm, I could just smell this all day. It does have like a, a hint of like a baby powdery smell, but it's mostly fruity. It smells a little bit like cotton candy. And so this one I do in like the daytime. Um, yeah, daytime, this one definitely for brunch or something like that. Um, and then now we're gonna get into the little Billie Eilish perfume because I was walking around Ulta. This was the day I went to smell that case spade and it was nasty and it wasn't doing it for me. Um, Billie Eilish just so happened to have a stand that was right next to the case spade perfume. So it's like, ooh, I love me some Billie Eilish. So let me see what her pre her perfume smells like. Um, so I ended up, you know, spraying it on the little sampler, the little papers, and it smelled really good. And I was like, ooh, let me just make sure. So I like sprayed it on, I think the back of my hand or something. I was like, ooh let me get it so this is what the big bottle looks like which i did not purchase because i just i'm not a perfume person it's 48 dollars for one ounce which is like i guess this big bottle um and i just i'm not a perfume person so i was like let me get the little travel spray bottle uh that i think was 24 dollars. so this is what it looks like it's nothing super fancy it's actually like very minimalistic if you ask me um it just says Eilish and this is Billie Eilish sorry I didn't <laughs> couldn't see um and so yeah the notes of it are oh again vegan um paraben free da, 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 biodegradable okay that's the wrap that I threw out it's in the amber family um but the notes are the top notes are sugared petals mandarin warm berries Middle is creamy vanilla, soft spices, and cocoa. The base is sleek woods, warm musk, and tonka beans. I like it. Um, to me, I don't know. To me, it, it just smells very vanilla-y. It smells like breakfast on a Sunday morning. That's how I'm going to describe it. That's what it smells like to me. Um... I don't really, I don't think I smell too much of the musk, which I don't mind because I don't think I like musk as a scent. Um, and it does have some, some fruity, some sweet, a little bit of earthy. So it just does it for me. Now, the only thing I will say, girl, Miss Billie Eilish, ma'am, queen, 
this top is not secure on this bottle like it there's been several times um because of where i have it where i grab it by the top and i've almost dropped it because this is not secure on here at all like it almost should have a click to it like i'm trying to think of something else with the top that clicks like this you hear the click so i could hold this by the top and it doesn't fall out immediately versus like i'm even scared to do it because i know it's gonna fall <laughs> so do y'all see like it just completely comes off so that is my only complaint about this and it could just be because i bought the little travel bottle and not the big bottle because i'm cheap but other than that that's my little perfume haul <laughs> if you guys stayed at this video and you entertained my foolishness please make sure you subscribe to my channel also make sure you hit the bell notification so that you get notified when i post every single sunday child at 5 p.m give me a big thumbs up if you like this type of content or if you um want to see more scent reviews i'm not a professional i'm not a connoisseur i'm just now really getting into perfumes and figuring out what i do and don't like um so i mean if y'all want to see more content sure um if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave them down in the comment section i will link all three of these perfumes down in my description so that you guys could just click on them if you know that you're very similar to me and that you like sweetie natural sweet sweetie sweetie sweet sweet natural earthy type of scents um <laughs> while you're down there click that link in my description so that you can listen to my music make sure you follow me on social media at sound the baddest and other than that i'll see y'all in the next video bye